Mike Littlewood, head coach of the Batcats, joins us in the BYU store. Coach. Hey, Mike Littlewood's here. Let's give it up. Hey. Now, 12 12 tie in 14 innings. Is that right? That's exactly right. Yeah. You how, guys are on point. How does that exactly work finishing in a 12 12 tie in an exhibition like that well so the way it, the way it kind of set up was coach boss from michigan state called me probably a year ago and said team's coming out we, we did this with air force last year of course they probably just jumped on a on the same plane as a football team big carrier <laughs> and went in but we actually had uh, delta flies out there but uh so it took about a year to plan this thing and we we just said let's do a 14 inning exhibition scrimmage and uh so it was all scripted out we had guys who were throwing certain innings or whatnot. And I'm glad it went 14 because we were down three runs uh, in the previous couple innings. So it was, it was good not to play nine that, that day and play 14. But it was – they think they're going to win the Big Ten. They have a great team, a lot of returners. Wow. Um, we feel like we're, we're a really good team, should contend for the West Coast Conference Championship. So it was just a great experience to get out there and see, the, see a Big Ten – Sorry. Oh, is it's that all going? good. I'll, yeah. This, is that going to your? Is this, that going to your house? This is going into my room specifically. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it should stay. But, but no. just to see another, just to see Big Ten facilities and and you know just it, it was just an awesome trip for us. And they put us on a 35 yard line, 12 rows up, oh, and it was nice. and it was so great because the whole game was played. We, it was like we were really on the 50. The whole game was played for the opposite 40 to the end zone. It was. Anytime it went down on the, like the 30-yard line, we were like, "Come on, what's going on? It's t it's not in front of us anymore." It was it was great. Yeah, was bring great it, bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great timing. Um, so I I think what you did was just say, "I want to go to a BYU football game." Okay, let's schedule an exhibition. <laughs> that's what it seemed like, which was a great plan, but yeah. a great experience for those guys because yeah, that's that's a great game in the fall exhibition yeah. season. You don't start the season until February. Yeah, and what it does is it gives all the all the young guys who haven't been on a trip before, it gives those guys the experience. So when we go to Georgia Tech in February, it's not going to be like, oh, deer in headlights, what's this all about? At least they have the experience of getting on a plane, getting on a bus, going to a hotel, getting up and, and going through that routine. And uh, so we say those guys that have gone on, went on that trip aren't freshmen anymore, really. This should, when we, it should, shouldn't be new to them when we, when we hit the road in February. Which guy on your current team is most likely to get lost on a road trip? Well, there's three guys that didn't show up on time for the bus, um, and, <laughs> and it costs a couple of them big-time Uber fees. Um, Colton Shaver, I'm just going to name them because they should be shamed right now. <laughs> Colton Shaver and Daniel Schneeman. Classic. Ubered it all the way to from uh, where we were staying. It was about an hour and 15 minutes away. We weren't staying right there in Whoa. Lansing. Whoa, that'll get you. And then we had a freshman. I won't name him because he's a freshman. Yeah. That, that we didn't leave. He was only one minute late. I didn't want a little freshman there scared and crying you know, in the hotel room, not knowing what to do. And so we waited for him. But um, Justin McClure, our, our strength guy, took care of those guys on Wednesday. So, so they're all set. <laughs> took care of them. <laughs> I remember those days. Yeah. Uh, that, that football game from, from uh, a fellow coach at BYU, I know you guys take great pride in kind of paying attention to each other's teams. Yeah. What was it like for you to see BYU go in there and play that game uh, at Michigan State? Well, you know, one of, one of the things our guys like to say, they, they'll run around and say it's a great day to be a Coug. And that's what I felt like that day. Uh, a lot of pride, uh, especially the way we played. And, and, you know, win or lose, Cameron was just talking about it, the energy and the passion that those guys brought. Um, and, you know, if you, if you go to an opposing side, like the, like the Big Ten like that, I mean, the tradition and the pageantry is just, it's amazing before the game with the band coming out and how they do things. Kind of gives you chills. I'm getting chills right now talking about it. And then see our guys come out, and just all business. I mean, they were, they were ready to go. Um, and... You know, to, to Kalani, it, it's hats off to Kalani to get his guys ready because not, not an easy thing to do to play the schedule they have and kind of get beat up, beat up, beat up, and then go on the road and get a great win like that. It was, it was uh, uh, I shouldn't say prideful day, but it was, I was proud to be a Coug that day. The hype is real when you win a big game like that. And speaking of hype, uh, the Batcats created a ton of it uh, last spring in that you know, remarkable start to the season. Uh, I think you lost one of your first 20 games or something like that. Now, now people are excited. Now, the, the standard, the standard is, yeah, is up now. The expectations yeah. are up, and you have blue and white scrimmage coming up. So, what's the latest with your team and expectations, and and what we're going to see in the blue and white scrimmage? Well, our expectations are are similar to last year. I, I really feel like this is a team that uh, you know you can set you can set goals, and sometimes they're just so far out there that people laugh at them. But I I feel like this is a team that should make a regional. That means we should win our league, uh, barring injury. I mean, that's the big thing that hurt us last year. But we have the talent. The talent and, you know, talent's one thing, but being able to get it done is another thing. And the, the thing I like about our guys is they want to go compete. We've got a good core 
uh, of players that they'll go out there and battle every single day. And that's, that's a big part of it. Um, so I like them. I mean, it's just guys are going to have to – we can't have our key guys maybe like a, a Kyle Dean's ready to go again. I mean, he's just starting, starting back, so it's going to be nice to get him back in the lineup. But we can't have like a, oh, a Colton Shaver or a Bronson Larson or one of those key guys that, uh, that has a down year. If they'll just go do what they can do, nothing special, we'll have a, we'll have a tremendous year. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. When is the uh, blue and white uh, scrimmage tomorrow? 3.30. 3.30. So we take VP, at, uh, take pregame batting practice at 2, and um, I think the, the, the uh, gates open at uh, 2.30, but 3.30, and then Junior Miley is going to have a little concert after. Nice. Right on the field, which is going to be kind of cool. He's got a, a few other artists out there, so, and then uh, over to the football game. Should be a fun night. Another, okay. another game and football game. I see how it is. Absolutely. That's awesome. There you go. Okay, here's another t-shirt, BYU right. Store. Uh, you can get the BYU Sports Nation shirt, 15 bucks online. I didn't bring my wallet. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, we'll hit you back. <laughs> You, you've given us some shirts, so we're probably yeah, not, not that Perfect. you need more swag, Coach. Yeah, I'll, you I'll give take us care of that. A way. bunch of stuff. We give you one shirt. <laughs> <laughs>